how you feel right now, you get to notice how you feel and then you get to choose how you respond to that feeling. So you might bump your elbow and go, oh, I got my elbow. Oh, it hurts so much, right? Yeah. Oh, but I don't want it to hurt. I hate it so much. I hate this feeling. Oh my gosh, why don't it just go away? Mm, whenever it goes away. But it's this, it's the attention you're giving it. And it's the, the meaning we attach to it and the forevers we attach to it and the comparisons. I, this is a rough draft. Some of you might've seen this. I know it's a mess and you probably can't read it, but it's basically, I feel blank. I had a thought about blank, which we'll talk about next. My body is doing something blank. And that usually comes with, anybody ever feel, right? Y'all love that question. Anybody ever had this? Anybody ever experienced this? Is this anxiety? Is this something else? It's all what, what turns this present discomfort into the problem is in your now what? So notice this, and then what do you do in response to this, right? Are you doing any of these things to loop it? Trying to figure out why? Try and project it into the future with the what ifs, attaching it to forever, whatever the hell else I wrote on here. Seeking reassurance, is this normal? And then being stuck, staring at it. Are you staring at that physical sensation all day? Like you were saying, checking in, is it gone yet? Is it gone yet? I use dare, is it gone? I meditated, is it gone? Shoot, it's still there. That's not dare. That is you trying to feel better. Anxiety lives in the fight of how you feel. So you step out of this loop by it's, it's relabeling discomfort, right? Back to discomfort rather than keeping it stuck as danger. Um, anybody in the chat who um, deals with physical sensations? Does that, is that helpful? Is that clear when it comes to uh, like anything else I could do with this general sense of anxiety, right? Yeah, and leave it you know, alone. <laughs> yes, and, and one thing I would like to point out, you know, our physical, our body, most of our body is part of our autonomous nervous system. And with sensitization always comes, um, phys physical sensations always come with sensitization. And if you try to control your physical sensation, it is impossible. It's a costly and pointless fight because you have no control over it. You cannot control if you have palpitations or not. You, will, you cannot control your digestive system. You cannot control your vision. And guess what? All those things that tend to trouble people are part of the autonomous nervous system. Mm -hmm. So don't try to, to control it because you will never be able to do that. Treat them and allow your body to, to feel the, uh, uncomfortable. It is okay. It is okay for your body to fluctuate. It is okay for your body to feel less than perfect. That is totally fine. It's the obsession about it that is the problem. It's the obsession where the, the disorder comes into play, not the discomfort in itself. Right. And obsession is the behavior. It's how you treat blank, not blank, how you treat blank. So it's, oh my God, well, what about my stomach? Oh, okay. All right. They ex explain stomach. Oh, what about my neck? Oh, okay. Neck. Well, well, what about this feeling here? Well, what about this feeling here? So it's like, it's my body is doing whatever it's doing anyway, whether I like it or not, we can keep the fight going by continuing to fight. And then it's like double sensations because there's your plain old weird body things that your body does all day long anyway, any little blips and zaps and skipped beats and things like that. And then your alarm system, right? When we jolt into like that fight or flight response, that feels something too. It's supposed to feel bad. It's supposed to feel awful. You're supposed to get tunnel vision. You're supposed to have that, like, I feel like I'm a coiled spring. Yeah, when there's danger, like this because you have to be ready to spring to jump you are acting as if danger right so now we're fighting physical sensations and then we're fighting how our alarm feels with all, which also comes with physical sensations so either one you're never going to fight them away so no matter what anybody posts well what about this well what about this okay play it out have you fought that before and gotten rid of that it's usually oh no, <laughs> no, I feel yeah. worse and it gets worse. And then I just notice it more. And now I can't get rid of it. Mm. And still we do it. So we fall into that trap. It's normal to fall into the trap again and again. And until you eventually you see that trap, like from far away, you see, okay, I'm walking towards that, you know, not this time, <laughs> this time I'm going to walk past it. 
so it's normal to fall into the trap but it's it's really not helpful always remind yourself it's just discomfort it's just discomfort i cannot control that but i can control my obsession and it's also helpful to remind yourself of this example with the flu oh oh my god okay let me compare this this was discomfort this is discomfort here i'm obsessing here i was not that helped so i'm going to stop obsessing that also means i'm going to stop trying to reassure myself all the time googling sensations if anybody ever and so how did you get rid of it how long did it take you mm -hmm. uh, right because this is when you when you start to put conditions on it oh that person did for it and went away in three days it must be the same for me and if it doesn't something's wrong with me that needs to be fixed and right leave right. it alone you will feel better when you stop trying to feel better because you're no longer treating a feeling as danger so it's and i like when i hear people are like oh, i feel great i've been feeling great like that's nice for the sake of feeling nice what's what's healing is that when you feel a feeling and then allow that feeling right that's kind of like your pop quiz like oh i didn't i didn't have an upset stomach for three days dare works great oh my gosh i have an upset stomach again but that that goes against dare because dare is like yeah and sometimes your stomach gets upset now what how are you treating that so let's say i i forget anxiety stuff let's say pick sneeze right oh gosh all right Dare's going pretty good. I haven't sneezed in three days. So I must be working well because the thing I don't want to feel didn't happen until I went to a restaurant and oh my gosh, I sneezed. Oh, I'm having a sneezing setback. I sneeze when I shouldn't have sneezed. What if I sneeze forever? And then we start treating just stuff our body does as danger and also as failure. Oh, my body did something I didn't want to do again. Oh, great. Here we go again. It's the here we go again, that's the problem, mm -hmm. not the spontaneous discomfort that happens. And one last word on that, the people always remark, I'm so exhausted, right? I'm so exhausted. Yes, you are, but you're not exhausted because of the discomfort, you are exhausted because you're fighting so mm -hmm. hard. This is where the exhaustion comes from. You will see that when you stop fighting, that you will have much more energy available. You're gonna feel much more calm and, and just, being able to flow with everything much, much better when you have more energy available. The exhaustion, right, Michelle, comes from oh, yeah. fighting because it's trying to hard. frustration. Yeah. yeah, and sadness and hopelessness. Mm -hmm. and I'm special. This is not going to work for me. And, and I'm broken. It, oh, and yes. I'm broken because yeah. I'm fighting so hard and I'm trying so hard and I still feel so freaking awful. And what is wrong with me? And why can't I get this? And what if dare doesn't work for me? And nothing works for me. And it never works for me. It's this. So I'll tell people, if you're telling me a sensation, you practice notice. I notice I feel blank right now. So if you're having physical sensations, anybody who wrote it on this list, I notice I feel unease right now. The response is, yep, yes, I do. And then you choose, do I engage the rest of my day staring at that feeling or do I then go and look somewhere else, right? It's learning how to, um, switch what your focus is on. Are you notice the sensation in the moment it's happening or are you spending it all day just staring at it and staring at it and waiting? Then you're like, do that for real danger. Put your life on hold for when you're feeling afraid and there's fire. But when you put your life on hold for feeling afraid, you're just treating afraid as the danger, as the bad thing, the, the upset stomach, the dizziness, all of like the physical sensations. And if you're spending all day trying to get rid of, you're looking here. So dare is, yeah, that's how I feel. I'm looking here now. Still might pull my attention, but I'm no longer treating it as danger. And then those sensations and the attention to those sensations starts to fade. It goes away as a fading process, not a direct elimination process. Yeah, and to illustrate this, if you, if you could imagine this is your nervous arousal or your physical sensations or thoughts or whatever, this is not the problem. This is the problem, the dam you have, been, you have built, right? So, oh, I don't want to feel this. I can't feel this. This is going to overwhelm me. I'm going to drown under all this water. And you're trying to fight this. And this is exhausting because it's impossible. You need to let go of this. Allow this to crumble. Allow yourself to experience it. You can feel discomfort. You can have a racing mind, you can have intrusive felt, you can feel all of that and not be in danger and very well able to tolerate it. Right. 